I tweeted yesterday that it's remarkable that about the only thing that's been good and right about the Wizards in the last 20 years has been their TV broadcast team of, of Buck and Phil Chenier. And two years ago, the Leontes is for reasons that I don't think any of us understand yet, uh, decided to jettison Phil. Uh, and now apparently they're going to do the same thing uh, with Buck for reasons that probably none of us will ever understand. Change for the sake of change. Maybe they're going to, you know, they, they think they can make a splash uh, with another play-by-play person. Uh, maybe they want to create the all, first all-women's team doing an NBA team because, you know, Zach Leonsis will think that's really a cool thing or something. But uh, putting aside the fact that Steve is one of the best in the business, the way they've treated two guys now who have been incredibly loyal to the franchise, uh, for, in Phil's case for 40 years, in Buck's case for, what, what is it, 22, um, is just stunningly embarrassing. Uh, and and the, the, the Leonsis's should be embarrassed, but I'm sure they're not. I, it's it's a weird thing because you know he's so loyal in other ways you know he's been so loyal to Ernie and it can't be just like cheaper younger I mean the franchise is worth a billion dollars yeah no it's not that it's not that. I mean they got what plenty of money it? look at the money they they've made on the caps in the last year after winning the Stanley Cup uh, probably in licensing alone. Uh, how many how many Ovechkin jerseys do you think have sold since oh, last June? So many. Uh, but <laughs> but. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it, no, it's not a money thing. Um, I, I, I don't think Ted's ever been agenda, a guy who does things for, for money one way or the other. Uh, as you said, he's got plenty, and he's going to make so much more with this gambling thing. Um, but I, I, it's it, you know, I, I don't. The, the sad thing is, we're never going to get an honest answer on this uh, because it, it, Ted's not going to give us an honest answer, and uh, I don't. I just don't get it. I mean, there are certain t- things in sports. Uh, that I don't get. I guess I'm just not smart enough. And this is a bad move in terms of uh, the broadcasts themselves. Uh, it's 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 an unfair move to. I mean, is there anybody in town who doesn't like Steve Buckhands for crying no, out loud? He's yeah, an right. icon. Is there anybody in town who didn't like Phil, doesn't like Phil Chenier? I shouldn't right. speak of him as if, if he's dead. Right. Um, it's it's just utterly utterly ridiculous. It seems like a bizarre sort of agenda thing. And and it, what's so weird is is Ted has managed, in many ways, the Capitals brilliantly. I, I thought the way they handled the whole run, the post-cup stuff, the celebration, oh, great. brilliantly. Yep. But then yep. the way he's handled the Is Alex the wizard, sober yet, by the way? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> hey, look at, he's, he's played a, great this season. He's a so top maybe of the goal scoring list. I, I, 46 is, goals. But then, I, I don't care yeah, if he's I, know. <laughs> I, I may care. try that. <laughs> but then, John, then how do you sort of rectify in your mind then the way the Wizards have been so mismanaged? It doesn't make yeah, any sense to me. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I, I can't answer that. I, yeah. And I, I don't have an answer for you. Um, I, I, I think, er, you know, the Ernie thing, it, he was he, he stuck with George McPhee for a long time as GM with the Cavs, but George McPhee had a lot of success. Mm-hmm. He didn't win a Stanley Cup, a but he had a lot success. of success, and yeah. he brought in all the players who eventually won the Stanley Cup. Uh, and so, I, and again, I like Ernie. I mean, I, I've always Everybody liked Ernie. Likes him. I, I don't like some of the, he's, he's He is a control freak. I mean, literally, like when I was doing my book, uh, The Legends Club, on, on Krzyzewski, Dean, and um, Jim Valvano, uh, I, I called Pat Sullivan, who was working as an assistant coach. Right. And I had, it, it took me 10 times to get in touch with him because he was afraid to call me back because they're all under instructions not to speak to the media. Only Ernie and only the coach, in this case Scott Brooks, speak to the media. Um, and it, it's ridiculous. And, and I don't get that, but I, I think Ernie's obviously made some mistakes. Uh, we're all killing him on the Porter thing now, but that was a move that I, I think they felt they had to make. But there have been some other more, much more obvious mistakes, thinking on Vesely. Um, and here we are, and, and they're, gonna, they're better, if they miss, better mm-hmm. off if they miss the playoffs. They'll probably end up as the eighth seed with a 38-44 and 44 record. John, best guess getting back to Buck for a second. What do you think his, his short-term future holds? I mean, he could go work for basically any NBA franchise calling games, but do you think – he wants to do that after being a Washington fixture for yeah, so many years. Yeah, I, 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 I can't see Buck leaving Washington. I mean, he, he finally he settled down, finally got married a few years ago. He's got a really nice house out in the suburbs. He, as you said, he grew up here. 
Um, uh, he is a fixture. I think that, uh, um, you know, some people say, take over. He's play by play. Well, Larry Michael shines Dan Snyder's shoes. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that. And, and why would Buck want to work for Dan Snyder? Uh, so, uh, and he's not a hockey guy, obviously. I, I, I was jokingly suggesting that he should go back and do Navy football. No offense to, to, to Pete. <laughs> right. Um, and I'd come back as, as the uh, color guy, no offense to Joe Miller, because uh, we did that together, you know, by the way. We did Navy football together just yeah, before we got the Wizards. Yeah, you can't go out there gunning job. for Pete's job. We're not, we're yeah, not going to accept that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, no offense to Pete. I'm yeah. just joking. Don't yeah. worry, Pete. You're fine. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, I think it's cool that they, they gave Joe the color job. Um, but he, what I see is sort of like what Chick has done, Chick Hernandez, is he'll, he'll kind of float around, do different stuff, maybe do some, some radio um, maybe he'll take your job, guys. Yeah. Uh, here. Uh, uh, maybe he'll take my job. I don't know. But, but Buck, Buck will find as much work as he wants, I, I believe. Do and I a, don't think he'll leave Washington. Do you have I'd a be vibe? Surprised. Do you have a vibe or feeling on who would replace him? None. None. Would because be this, this so bizarre. came out of left field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? But I, I, I believe... And I, I have absolutely no factual evidence of this. I'm simply speculating. I believe they already know who they, they want. That's why they did this. Uh, I think this was predetermined two years ago. I wonder ago. if it's someone in house, like locally already here, but or if it's someone out of town. I feel like they preordained this when they, they knew when they let go of Phil, we're going to take the bullet for Phil for two years, and then we're going to they. they they thought this out two years ago, in my opinion. Well, I wouldn't be shocked. I, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't be, be, you know, they knew, knew how much time was left on Steve's contract, yep. um, that they were committed to him for two years, that it was an yep. option for the third year. They're obviously not picking up the option. Uh, and I, I wouldn't be surprised by that. And, and Jason, I think it's going to be, it's going to be, it, it, they're going to, it's going to be some kind of quote, wow deal. Like, oh, really? They're hiring him or her? Mm. Um, that That's why they're doing this. They're trying to make some kind of splash with the TV crew um, because the team is, it, the team is drowning. 